Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm doing this face of makeup using Tarte products. Now, there are one or two things that aren't exactly Tarte, but most of this is Tarte products. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please give me a little subscribe before you go. And let's get into this easy, fun makeup tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this video. I'm not really sure if I'm going to call it full face yet, but... For my foundation, which I already did off camera, I used the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, mixed with a little bit of a MAC, but this is mostly what it is. Very built up because it is like a light to medium coverage, but super pretty, and I am in the shade of Porcelain, of course. For my concealer, I used the Tried and True, this is my second container of the Tarte Shape Tape in shade of Fair. It's just so light, so buttery, so beautiful, I love it. And then I did my brows as well because that's like super boring to watch sometimes, especially from me. But mostly we have Tarte products here, so I think I'm going to start with the contour. I'm going to do the Tartist Pro Glow Palette. And I'm going to use the Sculpting Powder right here. I've been dipping into this one a lot lately. And I'm just going to start my contour off with this e.l.f. Sculpting Face Brush from my latest makeup haul video. And I like to use this to just base the line out. I'm gonna try to make this more of a chatty. Get ready with me because normally I just do the tutorial and get out of the video. <laughs> um, or if I'm really busy that day, I do a voiceover for my tutorials. But I feel like this is not as personal. So. Okay. And once I have these base lines down, I take a other contour brush. And start blending. I don't really do that many tutorials on my channel. Some of you request them, and then other like a lot of times people don't watch them. So I'm not sure if I should do a lot of them or not. But if you guys want them, let me know. If you want like specific types of like how to or like makeup tutorials. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I hate contouring. I <laughs> I hate it so much. And I'm going to try to stop cussing so much in my videos for a couple of you who said that I cuss a lot. And I know I do, but... So, contoured. And then I got to contour my forehead. But I feel like contouring my forehead is really just like, let's rub some stuff up here and hope it works. Because there's like no rhyme or reason to it. I try to get the sides here. I'm going to my hairline, but I just feel like it looks fake. I don't have bangs or anything, so you can't really cover it up. But and then what I've been doing lately is I go along the sides of my face because I think I have a big face, and I'll blend it down here. And then I'm going to take the edge of this brush and just slightly touch my nose, very lightly. I'll make this face, like this little nose part look narrower. I'm going to kind of where I just draw a little bit of dust. And dust underneath the nostril. Not good at contouring my nose, so that just really makes a little bit more of a line right here. Next, I'm going to use blush. I am using Party. Amazonian Clay Blush by Tarte. This is my little May birthday gift from Sephora. And I'm taking this on a Real Techniques multi-face brush. Now, I always blend this into my contour now. Ever since I did that drag makeup tutorial, like, blending it really well into the contour, it looks so good. And it feels a little more natural, too, but I focus a little more on the apples of the cheeks. Then blend it back. I feel like I don't talk about myself on my channel very much. Oh, I hate when I have powder on my nose. Um, but I've been working on my own cosmetics for a little bit, like all by myself. And I feel like I have the formula for one thing down really well. I've been testing it out a lot in videos, but it's something that you can't actually see. So that is going very well. I think I'm almost done with the formula for it. I just want to take a little bit of the scent away that I added. 
and that should be good and you guys should be able to see some tests of it and maybe I don't know product shots I have to make like a label and everything like that I'm doing it on my own so hopefully those will be out within the year next I'm gonna highlight using the TARDIS Pro palette again and I'm gonna take fire which is this one and then I'm gonna take strobe as well and mix these two together using a Morphe 501 because I keep forgetting to throw this thing away I really don't really like these highlighters in this palette. I think they're very powdery, not the best quality, but it's the only Tarte highlighters I have so I'm going to use them. Even if they don't look that good because I'm going to try to do this Tarte face. I'm using all four of them now, I'm just going to mix them all four together. It makes the palette kind of messy but like I can't tell which ones are better quality. I don't ever record with Daniel in the house. I always wait till he leaves. So the fact that he had to leave for a meeting today, once I got home from work, it was really convenient for me to do this. I keep trying to make him be in tutorials and uh, challenges and stuff with me, but he does not like cooperating in videos. So if y'all would leave some comments saying, do this with your boyfriend, do that with your boyfriend, maybe I can entice him to be in a video. Cause I want to do the boyfriend Guess is the price of makeup videos and I feel like he doesn't cooperate enough for me to get him to do it. I even try to make deals like I'll cook you dinner tonight if you be in a video with me or I'll clean your closet if you be in a video with me and he won't do it. He thinks nobody wants to see it I don't think. Anyways I'm gonna take my pinky into strobe now which is the lightest one and go a little bit underneath of my brow. underneath this brow and then like in the inner corners of the eyes just a tiny bit but again this is really powdery so it's not really want to stay in place but it's what I do I know the pinky is probably not the most efficient tool on the planet but it's free next we're gonna move on to our eyes I'm gonna take a little bit of eyelid primer and prime these lids I think I have a little bit of residual mascara on from this morning but I tried to remove it all so if my eyes look a little bit blacker than normal, it's just left over. That sounds really gross, I guess. Anyways, today for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Amazonian Clay um, palette. This is the TARDIS Pro. Ugh, it's got like powder from the highlighters all over it. Ah, super excited. I love this palette. And I don't know what I'm going to go for yet. But... Hmm, what are we going to go for? I think I'm going to do a little bit of... Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of no, fil no filter, which is this nice purple right here. And I'm just going to take it on a... Hmm... I'm going to take it on a nice little blending brush. This is a Real Techniques multi eye brush. They don't have numbers on these. So I'm going to take a little bit of no filter and I'm just going to rub this over the crease, way over my crease because I have a hooded crease, but like where my eye folds looking straight forward at myself, over it. So if you have no hood, do it in your crease. But I have to do mine a little bit above. I put this on a fluffy brush because I'm not trying to put a ton of um, pigment here. I just want to have enough so it's like a little base for the rest of my shadows. And I'm just going to do this on both sides. I really like these Real Techniques brush. I keep finding them at Ross and uh, TJ Maxx in little packs of four or five for like $5.99, $8.99. And they're really nice. Now that we have a little bit of a base down, I think I'm going to go for like a fake wing with eyeshadow so I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and I'll be right back okay so I have our tape and I'm just gonna take this from the eye to the tip of the tail 
I really just pressed down this edge. This doesn't have to be pressed down too hard because you're just going to take your foundation off. But I really don't want that to bleed. And I'm going to take this one and do the same thing. Probably not going to be even, but um, it's okay. At a certain point, you just got to stop caring if they don't match. They're friends. I'd say they're sisters, but they look nothing alike. Okay. I feel weird. I hate doing this. Like, I never do this. I'm going to take a, another blending brush, one that's more uh, uniform in shape. And now that I have this little bit of no filter down, I'm going to go to Drama, which is this plum purple right here. Right there. I'm going to take it on the side of the brush, on both sides. And I'm just going to buff this on the outer corner. And blend it a little bit above into that crease we th drew on with the first color. I'm going to blend this into the inner corner of my socket here. I'm just going to take both colors that we've already used onto my brush and blend it in. Just focusing less pigment on the inner side. I want it to be the darkest here and the lightest on the inside. Next, I'm going to take a little flat packing brush. And I'm going to dip into this color right here, which is a shimmer. It is a minx. It is colored minx. It's a purple... Purple, coppery, copper purple color. And I'm going to pack this all over the lid. Now what I like to do to blend these uh, lid colors into this a little bit, I like to take the tip of the brush, I just touch the top of it in the shimmer, and then I carve out where my eyeball is. So I'll just feel my eyeball and go along that and blend right there. And it kind of blends my fake crease color into the glitter shimmery one without looking like the shimmer is too high up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first brush we use, the really, really fluffy one, dip back into that lighter, no filter color and just blend. Now that we have that, I'm going to take a big old fluffy brush and wipe away some excess that fell down and peel off this tape. Ooh! Good lord. It's very straight. Now I'm going to wipe off any excess product that is on the fluffy brush onto like a paper towel on the side. And I'm just going to buff this with my finger from away from the brow and then just buff the edge a little bit just underneath this brow so it doesn't look so harsh and then I'm going to take the other brush get the excess off of that one and then just to touch the edge a little bit rub the edge so it doesn't look so tapey It's not going to mess up your line, but it's just going to make it look a little softer. The brush wants to take up a little bit of excess on this edge we have. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this on this side and I will be right back. Okay, so everything is even on this end of the spectrum. Now I'm going to take a little uh, angled brush and my tart shaped tape. And I'm just going to touch the tube a little bit, get a little bit of product in here. And just dot, 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 dot. And then clean under here. Because I have very purple under eyes. So putting tape there kind of washed away a little bit of concealer. So now I'm just going back in here and carving this out making it a little more bright and less purple like my eyeshadow. And now I'm going to take this color here called Classic, which is a nice yellow-white color. 
and I'm gonna set this right here and then do the same on this side. Okay. Woo! Now for the under eyes, I'm gonna take a little elf underlining brush and I'm gonna dip into the first color we use, no filter, and put that under the center of the eye and blend it to the inner corners. I'm gonna take drama and put it on the outer corner and make it a little darker on the outer corner and blend it together with the other one. I think underlining is the easiest thing like in makeup because literally if you mess it up just cover it with some mascara on your bottom lashes and no one's ever gonna know. So that's one thing I love about underlining. Now I never do like dark purple eyeshadow like this so I don't know if it's gonna look like I have n issues after I finish this or not I can never tell if the makeup is gonna turn out good until I've either done it before or I see it come together with lashes on okay now that our eyeshadow is complete we can close up the palette bye palette you were so good to us now I'm going to pop on a little bit of mascara. I don't have a full tart one, so I'm going to use a little sample I got. And mascara, I think no one has a nice, good mascara face. Because you always look so focused. And again, I don't like buying expensive mascaras. I think I have two luxury mascaras, full sized. Because mascara is one of those things, if you put false lashes on like I do anyways, you're not really gonna notice the difference. Maybe on the bottom lashes? So that's about it. Okay, so now that we have our mascara on, I'm gonna let this dry for a second and I'm gonna put on eyeliner. I don't own a Tarte eyeliner, but I'm either thinking going for this dark purple or a white. Or a lip liner. I'm gonna go for the dark purple liner. This one is by Jordana. It's a 12 hour made to last in color purple fix. So I'm just gonna pop this in my waterline. And I like to hold, since I always put mascara on right after I put my eyeliner on, I put my finger underneath my lashes so the mascara doesn't run underneath. And then I force it in. Okay, so like don't buy this eyeliner because it really sucks. It keeps breaking apart every time I put it in my waterline. Yeah, I hate it. Oh my god, I hate it. But I'm not removing it. So, deal. Next, I'm going to pop on some TARDIS Pro Lashes and Goddess and I'll be right back. So, now that our eyelashes are on, the next thing I'm going to do is my lips. And I'm really disappointed in this highlight today. But I'm going to line my lips using a regular old lip liner by Giordana. And uh, I wouldn't normally line my lips if I didn't have to with a liquid lipstick. But the one I'm going to use today isn't exactly completely opaque. It's not the greatest quality for Tarte, so lip lining is necessary. Okay, so now I'm going to do the lipstick. I'm using the FOMO lip paint, the little mini one that came in the two set. Um, and I'm just going to fill in this little line that I have going on here. This thing smells like peppermint, so it smells really good. Okay, so our lips are done. I'm going to go set my face and I will be right back with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I went for like this crazy poofy hair look because I don't feel like doing my hair. <laughs> and I think it looks okay with it in like a little punky way because my makeup is so dark on the eyes compared to what I normally go for. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial using Tarte products. 
you want to see more videos from me, I put out five videos a week. And please subscribe before you leave. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.